Hello, Buffy Stinchfield here, physical therapist. I specialize in women's health, pelvic health, and the female athlete. Today, I wanna to talk to you about breathing part two. Last time, I discussed the importance of being able to allow your abdomen to expand and recoil as you take a deep breath in and out, that it's linked up with the health of your pelvic floor. If your abdomen is unable to expand as you take a deep breath in, likely your pelvic floor has a similar problem and that will lead to dysfunction in some way, whether it is pain or being just too tight and doesn't work properly. So people will find themselves having leakage issues. But it doesn't end there. We can't just think about expanding and retracting our abdomen all day long because the reality is good quality breathing is a 360 activity, meaning things should expand in all directions. So beyond just thinking of expanding with your abdomen, you're going to need to try giving yourself some feedback for expanding your rib cage out to the sides. Now that's usually a new concept for most people I'm working with. So what you can do on your own, either laying down or sitting or standing, you'll take your hands and you'll apply a good firm amount of pressure on your ribs, going pushing inward. You'll take a deep breath in and work to press your hands apart. And you can do about five of those if you wanna practice it and take another breath in and expand. Okay. Now I'm not sitting in a chair or laying down and that's the best place to try rib cage expansion going back, but you will want your back up against something, your lower ribs, and you're going to want to work to expand your rib cage backwards. Um, and that often is the hardest for most people. They're used to oftentimes just breathing up in here. So me asking them to expand their rib cage out to the sides and back, they're going, you're wanting, wanting me to do what? Uh, but that's the goal. And that will lead to the healthiest core muscle system, pelvic floor system. Um, you'll be able to just be more efficient at managing your intra-abdominal pressure. And it will also really save you if you are having an early prolapse or are managing a prolapse. We don't want to be just breathing and pushing down at all times or just having one type of breathing pattern only. So I hope that makes sense to you. If you have any questions, you can always ask me by messaging me here and I hope you have a good day.